thinking in terms of the palm tree and a little bit of review. We start with the number two color in a round area. The palm trees usually occupy somewhat of a rounded overall mass. So we start with the number two and then we put the shadow on the shadow side, the put the light on the light side, and then we spear out from there and then add the little fronds. I'm going to demonstrate how I would approach these three palm trees that are in close proximity to each other. One of them is actually overlapping the other. One is fairly freestanding. How did we do our palm trees? We started with a number two. And I'm going to use a good amount of paint, a fair amount of paint, yellow ochre, raw sienna, burnt sienna. And then I'm going to go to this dark green. And I'm going to get what is going to be my middle or my number two green. Let's do a check up here. Now I'm going to take a look here and I'm going to put, that looks pretty good. That's a pretty close green. I'm going to put a little turquoise with it and a little bit more burnt sienna. A little bit more burnt sienna, a little bit more green and a touch of blue. I'm going to check that, and I like that color. All right, so now I have this color, and this is going to be one palm tree, and I'm going to have another palm tree right here, and I'm going to have another palm tree over about here. We've done the number two. Now I'm going to go to my number three color by coming down here to my pool. And I'm going to get that number three color. And I'm going to use some turquoise with it, just a little turquoise. I'm going to check this in here. I think I can go a little darker. I'm going to take a little bit of blue this time with the burnt sienna just to get it a little bit darker. And I'm going to put my number three color over here. Now we've done our number two and our number three on each of these palm trees. Now I'm going to put the number one. What is my number one color? I come over here with white, yellow ochre. I dip into that pool. I'm going to take some yellow and some turquoise here to get a light high intensity, higher intensity, green, but I want to keep it earthy. I can use turquoise. I can even use some of this emerald green if I wish. And I'm going to test this color here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put a little raw sienna with it. Don't overmix it. A little more raw sienna on this guy over here. And because these trees are so far away, I'm not going to have to worry too much, you know, about uh, individual fronds, but I'm, I need to worry about it a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe the excess off my brush and remember, these are going to come from a somewhat s central location. Well, with doing this, I'm seeing that I'm mixing some with my sky. Guy's still kind of wet.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of that earthiness of, of dead palm fronds underneath. Start with a little raw sienna and a little bit blue with it. Suggestion of that in there. I'm going to go to this little brush now. I'd like to introduce you to uh, what's affectionately referred to as a mall stick. And once you have that, you keep your hand, you can keep your hand off of the wet paint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back now and restate some of these, these fronds. And this is going to give me a little bit, because we're dealing with something so far back in the distance, I can go in and just sort of correct some of the broad things that I've done in favor of something that looks a little bit more believable as far as the design of the tree. Okay. Now I need some, I'm going to need some lighter lights in this tree right here. So I'm going to go with a, a significantly lighter light here. I want to break this up. Uh, white, yellow ochre, a little touch of the yellow in it. Uh, you see this large area right here? I need to have a lighter light in there. And since I'm going to have a lighter light there, I'm going to put a lighter light here and a slightly lighter light right here in this tree. And these are just spots. And now that I have those spots, I can go in and using that with what I've already got, I can and then what I'm going to do is a, a little bit more, uh, I'll come back with some make it a little bit more ragged. I'm going to come in with some darks now, the dark just to give a little bit more contrast inside the tree. Let's see where I can put some dark in here. I need a little bit of dark right there. Where can I get some darks in here? I need a few darker darks back on this side here. Get some darker darks in here. A little bit right there. Now, there is, for as far as what I understand about palm trees, just like the Hoglum tree, there is a feel that you, there's a touch. And I'm not saying that I've mastered it, but I'm on the way. And there is a touch that you want to get in the production of these palm trees, I'm going to put a little bit more contrast here in a couple places. So now I have put the, the, the palm in there, the, the leaves, the fronds, so now I'm going to work a little bit with the underside and the, and the, the trunk. All right, so what's the trunk? 
As you know, the trunk is going to be somewhat of an earthy gray. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use white, burnt sienna, and blue, and I'm going to get a nice gray. And I'm going to start with my number two gray. And because we're dealing with a palm tree that is this far away, I'm going to have to go to a smaller brush to suggest the, the trunk. So I'm going to use a somewhat worn out number four brush that will allow me to do a fairly, fairly straight line. And And because of the position that we're in here, I'm going to put that direction on that trunk. I'm going to take some white and a little touch of orange for the highlight side. White and a little touch of orange. We can do the highlight side of our tree with this. Go back to the mall stick so I can keep my hand off the painting. And then I'm going to do a shadow side of the tree with a darker bluish gray. by adding more blue and I'm going to put a little touch of the thalo red rose with it. So it's a little bit of a purpley gray. It doesn't have to be a, a solid line. We can break it up a little bit. Now on this tree right here, this, this dominant one right here, I'm going to come back with some of those dead palm fronds on this. I'm going to put some dead palm fronds on this to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to do that with the raw sienna, raw sienna and burnt sienna. I take some raw sienna down here with some of these colors. Make it look like it's a little more unkept a little more of an unkept tree and then we can take a and make a kind of a bright orange almost an orange for the highlight side having done that all we need to do now is suggest a little bit of shadow underneath it so I'm going to take some of this dark green. I'm going to add a little turquoise to these greens down here and I'm going to suggest a little shadow under those trees. 